inclement weather and ground conditions will increase the potential of your vehicle becoming bogged, which introduces hazards and increases the risk and likelihood of something going wrong if vehicle recovery is not done correctly. When things go wrong, they can go very wrong very quickly when recovering a vehicle. Generally prevention is better than a cure, so we obviously don't want to get stuck if we can help it. The following steps will assist you in recovering your vehicle safely. Recovery equipment. This kit includes the following items. A dampening bag, an 11 ton recovery or snatch strap, two 8 ton shackles, a pair of gloves and a set of max tracks. Make sure the specifically designated vehicle recovery items are used for vehicle recovery and are used for vehicle recovery only and not used for any other task. Vehicle preparation. You should always familiarise yourself with any recovery or tow points on your vehicle before driving off-road. This will allow you to quickly establish your recovery plan if you get bogged. If you do get bogged, first try lowering your tyre pressure to increase the footprint of your tyre. This will help to gain traction on loose surfaces and help in the recovery of your vehicle. If this doesn't work, you can try using the Max Tracks provided in the recover kits. Placing the Max Tracks behind the tyre can dramatically increase the vehicle's traction and aid your recovery. Make sure you do not accelerate too fast and spin your wheels as this may cause damage to the max tracks and result in your vehicle becoming bogged deeper. If these two steps do not work, another vehicle will be required to help with the recovery of your vehicle. Recovery plan. It is essential to establish a recovery plan before attempting to recover your vehicle. Your recovery plan should include the following points. Identify suitable recovery vehicle. Identify recovery direction and start and finish points. Method of communication. Establish a signal system between both drivers, either by using a horn signal or using UHF radios. Recovery procedure. Once a recovery plan is established, you're good to set up for vehicle recovery. Start by attaching the recovery strap to the bogged vehicle. Ensure that you only use rated vehicle recovery points. For any recovery equipment, it must be tagged and labelled to say what it is. And the reason is a snatch strap and a winch extension strap and a tow strap all look the same and can be different colours from different brands. Uh, if you don't have a, a tag on it and you try and use the wrong thing in the wrong application, you will damage the equipment and yourself. A rear-to-rear -rear recovering method should be used when recovering a vehicle. Now, position the recovery vehicle, allowing for a 1 to 2 metre overlap of the recovery strap. Once the recovery vehicle is in position, with a clean straight path ahead, you can now hook up the other end of the recovery strap to the tow point of the recovery vehicle. It is essential that you now make sure that both vehicles have their wheels straight. This will greatly increase your chances of getting out. Next, using a shovel, clear out dirt and mud from the exit path of your wheels, which will give your vehicle a greater chance of gaining traction during the recovery. Before commencing recovery of the vehicle, it is important that everyone stands well clear. A good rule of thumb is to be twice the distance of the recovery strap away from either vehicle. As always, drivers must wear their seat belts while in their vehicles. The bogged vehicle should now be in reverse with the handbrake off, but should not drive until the vehicle has started to move. Before moving off, the bogged vehicle should signal to the recovery vehicle that they are ready to go. Remember the agreed method of communication. Now, using a smooth throttle, the recovery vehicle should accelerate forward in a straight line. Make sure that you keep an eye in your mirrors so you know when to stop to avoid towing the bogged vehicle further than required. If you fail to recover the bogged vehicle on the first attempt, you may need to attempt recovery a few times. To do this, you'll need to reverse the recovery vehicle back to the start point, making sure you avoid running over the straps and stopping at a distance that allows for a 1 to 2 metre overlap of the recovery strap again. Then repeat the recovery process. 
If your attempts to recover the vehicle continue to be unsuccessful, you may need to contact the plant department for additional resources. It is better to ask for additional assistance than to take the chance and put yourself and others at risk of injury. Ask for help, as sometimes additional equipment may be required to safely recover your vehicle. Post recovery. Once your vehicle is recovered, remove all of the recovery equipment from both vehicles. Clean and inspect the equipment for damage before putting it back into the bag provided. If you find any damage, make sure you tag it out of service and replace the equipment. Thank you for taking the time to complete this induction.